In this GoJango screencast, we're going to talk about sending emails based on email templates. You use email templates in a variety of different ways. When you send an invoice and you just populate data in specific spots. You also use templates, email templates, whenever you send out newsletters, either through AWeber or MailChimp. It's a very useful tool and quite easy to do once you understand how to do it. I've already gone ahead and set up some of our basic infrastructure for our project. Let's go ahead and look at some of the settings. The most important settings to note are email host, email port, email host user, email host password, and email use TLS. I have all of these set with environment variables, but you can go ahead and configure them how you need to do so that you can send emails using the built-in Django mail classes. I've also set up a base template that all it will have is two links, um, each for sending our two different types of emails. I've already gone ahead and filled out our email templates. So let's go ahead and look at those. Like most templates, I go ahead and put them in the app that we're going to be working in, and we're going to work, be working in an app called Main. So I put them in Main Templates, do Main again, and then I usually do Email, and then some kind of template and file name in there. In this case we're going to do email.txt. This is for our straight text-based email. Note I have some basic template stuff. We're going to add some context to each of our emails and it's going to automatically populate. In this case we're going to do user and purchase. This is kind of a basic if you wanted to do some type of invoice. You would obviously fill in more information but this is enough to let you know what's going on. We're also going to do HTML. In this case, it's the same thing, except we're using HTML, and we have our user, and we also have purchase. Note I went ahead and wrapped them in strong so that they're actually bold in our email. So it's actually quite easy with the email templates that we're actually ready to start looking at our views. Again, I've already set up two URLs along with our base template so that we can automatically just start using it once it's ready to go. First we need to do some imports. We're not going to do too many fancy complex things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to return a basic HTTP response on each of our views to show that it actually did something. I'm not going to do much else other than sending our emails. So I'm just going to do the import of the HTTP response. The other two important things that we need to import is something for our templates. In this case we're going to do render to string, which is going to import our text-based template. And then finally, we need to import a way for us to send email messages. So we're going to use an email message class. First, we're going to define a method called email1, which is our first function that we're going to use with sending emails. First thing is we probably want a subject. We also probably want to send it to someone. Our email message object is going to take an array of people to send it to send our email to. We're going to go ahead and set our from email. Now that we have those things out of the way, let's dig into the meat of what we're doing. There are two parts to actually what we're going to do next. First, we need to set our variables for our template that we have, and then we need to actually get our template in before we pass it all and send the email. Of course, we're just going to create a collection and call it context. We're going to pass in a user and a purchase. This is what's going to populate our email template. Next, we need to actually get our entire string of our email template and populate it. This is super simple with our render to string function. We're going to pass it our template, and we're going to pass it our context data. And that's what we're going to use for our message for our email. Next, we need to actually send our email using the email message object. And then we're going to call the send function 
and that's going to send our email for us using the using Django's email functionality. And then finally, we're just going to return an HTTP response with some text so that we know it ran. So now that we have that running, let's go ahead and test it in our browser. Okay, I think we're ready to try sending our email. And there we go, we got our HTTP response. Now let's go and see if we got any mail. And this is the email that I got. So notice it says testexample.com on the front. Hey Lindsay, I'm a text email. And buddy and books filled in. Let's go ahead and take a look at the HTML email template. It is very much the same process. So I'm just going to go ahead and type out most of it and then I'll fill in the juicy bits for the specific HTML. So now that I have some of the basic code typed in, it's much exactly like what was up above. Uh, let's go ahead and look at what it takes to do our HTML. First though, we need to do some more imports. One of the things that we need to do is pass our context in using the context object into our template because we're going to use a more robust template function. So we're going to go ahead and import context. We're also going to need to use a different loader besides render to string, and that is going to be get template. Now let's get started with what we need to do to send an HTML email. First we need to get our message. Now we need to render our template since it does more than just concatenating and filling in strings. But we also need to render our template with our context data, which is where we're going to use our context object. Now that we have our message body ready, we actually move on to instantiating our email message object, setting the appropriate type of the email, and then sending it. As you can see, it's the same as above, but the only difference that we're going to do is we're going to set a content subtype to HTML. By default, the email message object has a content subtype of plain. That's why we didn't need to set it in the email one. And then our send function just sends our email. So let's go ahead and take a look at it in action. Okay, let's send our second email. There we go, email two has been returned. And let's go check our email. As you can see, here's our second email. I'm an HTML email. Hello from Buddy, purchased books, they're bold. So that shows we've actually done our HTML email. As you can see, it's fairly easy to use email templates when sending emails to your customers or users or whoever you're sending emails to. And they're fairly fast and quick to set up. I think the most complicated part is probably figuring out what the email template's going to look like. I hope you find this helpful in your future endeavors. If so, please visit our Facebook and like us. You can also subscribe to our RSS feed, which you can find on the front page. And please feel free to leave comments in the comments section. I want to thank you again for watching this video, and have a great day.